A Carmel businessman who owned a driving training school, now a wanted man tonight after he left two teen drivers empty-handed. 13 Investigates first uncovered problems with A Auto in Indianapolis. And tonight our investigator Sandra Chapman shows you why parents in southeast Indiana want to find Gary Baxter. On the corner of 2nd and Mechanic, the old gutted A-plus auto driving school. That we didn't get what we paid for. In August of 2012, owner Gary Baxter packed up without notice and left town with thousands of dollars of class fees. Joe Brush was one of the student drivers left in the lurch and forced to take driver's ed all over again somewhere else. And I felt really bad that my mom had to pay the money again because we'd already spent 30 hours in a classroom. And he paid $400 and he wasn't able to get his driver's license. That's why Joe's family and 50 others filed and won a lawsuit against Gary Baxter. The problem now is finding him and making him pay. The Indiana Attorney General ordered Baxter to reimburse $306,000 for misrepresenting A-plus auto as a state-certified driving school. Well, the classroom was a little bit of a joke, too. He wasn't a great teacher by any means. For each three-hour class, probably an hour and 45 minutes of it was spent watching YouTube videos of people in car accidents. In fact, the BMV had warned Baxter to get certified in June 2012. But 13 investigates caught him taking students out for driving lessons anyway, even after all of his experienced instructors quit. Why don't you shut down until after you figure Why it out? Why would I shut down a business that I'm helping people learn to drive? Because you're not certified. I am certified. And six months later, a court ordered him to pay the money back. Yes, we won, and we, you know, he's supposed to pay us the money, but of course that nobody's ever seen a cent or found him. Or Just like in 2012, 13 investigates went looking for him. This time we found his home abandoned. It was sold as a foreclosure during a recent Hamilton County Sheriff's sale. I would love to someday get a check for the money back. I'm not holding my breath. No, but I'm sure we're at the bottom of the pile of people he owes money to at this point. Tonight, the Indiana Attorney General's office says the case against Gary Baxter is still open. They are trying to enforce the $300,000 judgment against him. But first, they have to find him. In Aurora, Sandra Chapman, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.